Bonjour guys, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're going to do a problem in math. We're going to cover limits. It is a very common iffy question, so make sure you guys understand it. Also, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you some practice problems that you can use to study for your FE exam. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more videos. And let's get started. Oh yeah, everybody now. Okay guys, so limits. So if you remember from your calculus class, when we are giving a limit problem, what we do, we just take the x and then we substitute it on dx. Like x goes to zero. I'm going to take zero and substitute that. But if we do that, we're going to actually get stuck in this problem. So let's do that together. So I'm going to have limit of sine of eight times zero over zero. Sine of zero, it's zero, right guys? Eight times zero gives you zero, then sine of zero is just zero, and then I have zero over zero. Well, this is actually considered as indeterminate form. It's not undefined, it's indeterminate. And so when you have an indeterminate case, what we use is L'Hopital's rule. When do we have indeterminate cases actually? It's when we have zero over zero, or infinity over infinity. Infinity plus infinity is also considered as an indeterminate form. So when we have indeterminate form, we actually have to use L'Hopital's rule. So L'Hopital's rule tells us when you have the limit x going to alpha of f of x over g of x, you have to take the derivative of f of x over the derivative of g of x. So what I'm going to do here is take the limit of the sine eight of x first. So let's do f prime sine eight of x. And then we're going to do the derivative of x. So let's take the derivative of sine eight of x. So the derivative of that is just going to be eight cosine eight of x. The derivative of sine, it's cosine. It's like taking the derivative of sine first, so that will give you cosine eight x. But then you also have to do the derivative of eight x, which is eight. So that's like the chain rule, if you guys remember that. So this gives me eight cosine eight x. If you guys want more problems on derivative, just let me know in the comments below and I'll make more problems. But here I'm just assuming that you guys know how to do derivative of sine eight of x. Now I have the derivative of x, which is just one. I should have kept the limit here. And then this is x goes to zero. Now I can substitute x is equal to zero in here. I'm gonna get eight cosine of eight times zero over one. You guys know cosine of zero is just one. So I'm going to have the answer as eight. So that's going to be your answer, which is D. I hope that made sense, guys. And if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And I'll see you guys on the next clip. If you guys want some practice problems, you can visit my website. Just scroll all the way to the bottom, sign up or enter your email address. And I will send them to you along with some tips on how to tackle this exam. Okay, guys, so that'll be it for today. On the next video, we're going to do problem mechanics of materials. We're going to calculate the deformation of a bar. So make sure you guys hit the bell so you get notified when I release the video. If you guys like this video, please give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and I will see you soon. À la prochaine. Oh yeah, everybody now.